Morte, Santa Morte, or the Saint of Death. It is now openly worshipped in every state of Mexico, and even Time Magazine now reports it is the most popular god or saint in Mexico after Jesus and Mary. It is the number three most popular god. It is the Grim Reaper, just giggling love of death. Uh, and now Mexican drug cartels would never kill children. Now they blow little children's heads off with enjoyment. Uh, every day or two, I hear about them killing police chiefs, burning down casinos, hotels, chopping everybody's heads off. And if you talk about it, uh, they will have foundation-controlled groups like Mecha La Raza and others come out and say, none of this is happening, it's a hoax. The locals are afraid and, and have been told, you'll be killed and your children will uh, if you fight back. And I've talked to gringos down here. I've talked to, you know, blonde-haired, blue-eyed people, and they're scared. I've talked to black people. They're scared. I've talked to Hispanics. They're scared. I have been mobbed by Hispanic listeners down here. Uh, and they'll come run up. Alex Jones, how are you still alive? Yes, we listen. We know you know what you're talking about. Uh, you know, they're worshiping the skinny one. This is death. It's sacrifice. It is a genocide. It's more than 40,000. And then I start talking to cops who are scared. I start talking to all these people about the helicopter attacks, the murders, the, the kidnapping, the people being killed here. And they've told all the local TV and print uh, newspapers, they've told these guys, you keep your mouth shut. Here's another one. They've told the TV stations. I mean, when there's killings, when there's kidnappings, when there's murders, this is how it started in Mexico. And the cops are just out there writing tickets on citizens, getting their little bit of money, and just cowering. This is how America operates now. And they got the Coast Guard and the game wardens out harassing everybody if they catch too many sand trout or whatever. And you got the cartels, you got the CIA, you got Las Zetas, openly trained by the U.S. military at Fort Bragg and Fort Benning, Georgia, all on record. And it's all part of a plan to consolidate, to have a huge drug war in Mexico that's bigger than the Vietnam War per year. Just a real bona fide war, 40 plus thousand dead in three years on the Mexican side, 5,000 on this side. And that's just what we know of. And no one will talk about it. I've had people come to me and say, you've got to talk about it, sir. And once you give in to this dark impulse, once you give in to the culture of death, once you give in to not caring about dying anymore for money, so you're supposed to not care about dying for freedom and for standing up for liberty. And then that pushes back the darkness, that pushes back the Grim Reaper. Instead, you have a culture where it's worshipped, totally turning themselves over to the Diablo. El Diablo, ladies and gentlemen, is strong. And it's spreading all over the United States. And it's so sad and it's so sick. And the culture has all primed. And you see the stickers all over cars in Austin with the skinny one. And people crazed and wanting to die, wanting to show their manhood, destroying our culture, destroying children and the family's future. It is abhorrent. It is blasphemy against humanity. And it's all been done because of the drug war and the global social engineers rule the planet because they're masters they're playing the big drug cartels off against each other while the cia funds both sides while the dea fbi border patrol all of them eight agencies ship the guns in they ship the cocaine in they have military bases and homeland security ice bases they send out the, the Homeland Security boats to pick up the cocaine right out there and they bring it in back and forth all day right in front of everybody Right there in South Padre, just boom, boom, back and forth, just drug shipment. Boats sitting out there, big, big barges just sitting out there with Homeland Security going back and forth. It's all funny to them. And I talk to other locals around here, and they're like, yeah, no, they come in and out, back and forth with the drugs. They're landing them out here at these air bases. But they've grown these gangs up so big, they're now expanding out into... Uh, kidnapping and extortion and, and and every other form of evil is now happening and they're not just going into hispanic shops now and doing it thinking hispanics will go along with it like the asian triads only feed on asians no now they're going in everywhere and doing it and the cops won't help you because they're on the payroll they'll only bust little bitty gangbangers and fill them into the prisons where they have higher level drug dealers who then train them to join their armies all part of the systematic takeover plan by the social engineers. And now as all this implodes, they're going to call for a total North American union 
and U.S. forces to go into Mexico and secure it. And now Rick Perry's proposing it. We played that clip two weeks ago. It's all part of the North American problem, reaction, solution plan. With our own totally criminal government caught shipping the cocaine in and the guns out directly to the cartels, double-crossing each other. Think about it. Think about how the Mexican military dug slugs out of their dead people and shipped it back knowing how to trace it to certain guns that have been sold because they were part of it. It's all part of a giant double-crossing operation meant to destroy Mexico and have huge refugee floods come in, which then further bankrupt the United States. If we would have made everybody stay down in Mexico, that's another thing. The, the people were going to have a revolution six, seven years ago in Mexico and throw out the globalist and J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs dictatorship. So when the actuaries, the globalists said, we'll start a drug war, let them all kill each other that way, then they'll be happy to be slaves. The globalists know what they're doing. They know how to manipulate. And in the meanwhile, this drug dealing, murdering globalist banker government that's hijacked the U.S. and Mexico openly has dog training now to stick their hands down your pants, microwave oven you, make you answer questions now at the airports, where you coming, where you going. You're not a terrorist, are you? To train you to be a prisoner. Totally breaking your will. Just and, and see, there's no end to these criminals. Because the criminals that run America and run the big banks and run Mexico, they're only going to get replaced with worse people and worse people. I mean, 30 years ago, uh, they would grab people that went over into Matamoros from South Padre, uh, gringos, and torture them to death uh, in, in human sacrifices. And why is that? Why are all these people devil worshippers? Because when you get a corrupt society, the most evil are going to rise to the top. And whether you believe in God or not, people that are into evil always worship Diablo. Okay, they always worship the devil, El Diablo. They're always into that. And my God, we, we are in so much trouble as a society and, and a nation of cowards. America has turned into land of the cowards, home of the slaves. We've got to find our fight again. We've got to stop being cowards or our future is over. And they're saying, are you La Raza? So basically down with the U.S. because they know that's a popular thing with young people because it seems sexy and cool. So the first thing is anti-America, bring down America. This is all being run by the big mega banks who want to bring down Mexico and the U.S. See how the... You see the Hispanic kids everywhere wearing the Grim Reaper. They think it's cool. Grim Reaper stickers on the cars, the music, the rap, the Tejano, the rock. It's all, you know, the skinny's going to get you. Yeah, it's fun. And the drug cartels come in. They give the kids the drugs. They get them addicted. They start selling it. And they start telling them, kill somebody. Go kill this person to prove it. And so the police all over the U.S. just stand down. They just say, Okay, well, the government's bringing this stuff in. We'll just let them do it. But that isn't going to stop it either. They're going to start killing each other in greater numbers. And what's already, here's the news flash: All the killing and, 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 and the major war-level casualties going on and the kidnapping, death, and murder, you've already seen a 500%. You can pull this up on Google. Increase in the Southwest in kidnappings in the last decade. The capital of kidnappings in the United States is now Phoenix, Arizona. Now they're going ahead and come to the door and knocking, and they go ahead and wear a military uniform. And gringos just roll over as well. They've been well-trained to be slaves. So land of the coward, home of the slave, land of the grim reaper, which is what Skull and Bones, Bohemian Grove. Who do you think they worship at Skull and Bones? You've seen The Good Shepherd, made by Robert De Niro with Matt Damon, that got hailed as being so accurate, a grim reaper with a gold crown on. You actually go look up the skinny one in most of the depictions. It's wearing a gold crown. Skull and Bones worships a grim reaper. Skull mask, black hood with a gold crown. What do they worship in Mexico? A, a, a grim reaper with a gold crown. You, who, that's Satan, ladies and gentlemen. They are Satan worshipers at Bohemian Grove. There's a reason in the old days people didn't put up with this. Because when you put up with people, start worshiping and start doing this, your society literally goes to hell. And if you're a sociologist or anthropologist, you don't believe in God, the devil, fine. That's your issue. The point is they believe in the devil. They believe in it. They believe in a grim reaper with a crown that's coming to kill you and your family. And they're down here, and I see Americans literally shaking in fear. We need your support now more than ever. We are all in. In fact, I wrote some notes this morning I wanted to point out. I am all in, risking it all, spreading the word. Don't live in fear. Don't let the globalists take over your life. It's really just that simple. And all over the U.S., 
the, the big three cartels and the stragglers, the stragglers are openly globalist finance to bring North America into a crisis to then have U.S. forces occupy and take over Mexico in the name of saving it in the end and openly merging the countries. That's the North American Union plan. They plan to destroy U.S. sovereignty using Mexico and Mexican sovereignty using the U.S. The globalist playgroups are off against each other. Again, this is this is it's come out in federal court that the CIA, the FBI, the DEA, ATF, Border Patrol, they're all in the Fast and Furious. It's the tip of the iceberg in those Sinaloa documents and others financing all sides with guns, all sides with weapons, all sides are allowed to ship it in through certain conduits. This is how the globalist social engineers are operating. And we need your support now more than ever. If you're not.